you know, networking with other people in your industry can be huge. And, you know, from the technology industry, sometimes if you're kind of just banging your head up against the wall because, you know, you just can't figure out an issue, it's really nice having a network of, you know, some other handful of people that maybe work in a similar industry or maybe work in different industries. It's like, hey, like, you know, I do that a lot with people that I've met at conferences. You know, we ping each other every now and then. Now it's more on LinkedIn, but it's like, hey, like, have you guys seen this? What or, do you do with yeah, this? Yeah, or hey, like, especially with people overseas, you know, typically they're like, hey, have you guys kind of seen this, like, emerging ransomware, like, in the United States? And we're like, oh, hey, no, like, first we're hearing about it. Like, what are you, what are you guys seeing? Like, share what you have. And they're like, yeah, hey, sure, here, look, this is what we're seeing. And sometimes that can be the difference of a client getting encrypted and a client maybe not getting encrypted yeah. you know those personal yeah. relationships you become better as professional mm -hmm. for your clients and also you know if you like when i mentioned when you meet people that maybe are several steps or many steps ahead of you you can ask them hey what did you do when you were in this level or when you came across this hurdle like who did which maybe a uh, software provider did you use to overcome this issue or like who did you hire to solve this you know which like vendor or what law firm did yes, you use like so people are willing to share their contacts as well and just being able to get you know some advice where you're like hey i've been thinking about doing this and someone that has maybe tried that three or four different times, like, whoa, 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 hold on a second. We tried that a couple of different times, and you know what? It just didn't work for us because of X, Y, and Z. Maybe it just wasn't the right strategy for the market that they were in. But, you know, that could potentially save you thousands or tens of thousands of dollars by, you know, getting some of that insight from other people in your industry or yeah. outside of your industry. Yeah, exactly. So I think that, you know, obviously if you one word of caution like just going to conferences alone is not gonna make you successful either like okay you might be if you don't put the work in once you come back from them and you don't implement what you learn and you don't put effort much effort you're just like wandering there wasting time just like you know eating snacks and you're not paying attention then no like don't go but like if you are gonna implement what you learn and most likely you will because you will be inspired and uh, energy is gonna rub off from other people too and then you know I at least I'm a competitive person a little bit so I get also that a little competitive edge like oh like they're doing this like I want to do it too or do it even better than they're doing you know so um, that can help too.